Hello, I'm Chess Sons. Billy O'Neill. Brian Aragon. Brian Shimo. Chris Heffy. Fallon Heffernan. Frankie Morales. Jenna Downen. Mike Johnson. Monte Livingston. Stephen Hunger Cup. Dave Fang. And this is the Chess Sons invitation. What does rollerblading mean to me? I, everything. I mean, if I wasn't skating, what would I be doing? I don't. Nah, I wouldn't be as cool as I am. <laughs> Take, two. <laughs> Take two. Um, what does rollerblading mean to me? It's all I've done since I was seven years old. For me, it's my religion, my life, and my lifestyle. Being whoever you want to be and just still being accepted. Freedom of expression, just doing me and expressing myself pretty much. Really, whenever everything else in life falls apart, rollerblading is the one thing that grounds me. Every day I wake up and I think I'm gonna go skate. It's what I wanted to do when I was a little kid and it's still what I have fun doing now. I actually got into rollerblading um, a long time ago watching the X Games. I saw Frankie Morales and just the things he was doing back in the day just inspired me. Long story short, pretty much, uh, I was hanging out with the wrong crowd and skating saved my life pretty much. Transportation, you know, from A to B, but it was like for me the most elegant solution. I took out the middle wheels, I put on some grind plates, I seen some people skating and I just started getting into it like that. I was horrible, it took me forever to learn how to do anything, but I fell in love. Rollerblading was just something that I could do and I didn't have to have a team to do it with or a coach telling me what to do, I could just cruise down to the skate park, do some tricks. Like, I thought like I invented grinding. <laughs> Seriously, me and my friends we were like going and we thought like, whoa, we're revolutionary, you know, crazy. And then we saw like videos and we we're like, whoa, this sport is already existing, you know. Here I am still skating 15 years later, but it's, yeah, it's cool. <laughs> I kind of grew. I kind of grew up skating contests, so um, I've always been a fan of them. And I, I think 
competition, it, it helps you improve yourself and helps everybody around you improve. Like, you're always pushing each other. I think we need competitions just because we need to keep this industry alive and, and, uh, and it just shows the level of skating, you know? All the skaters from around the world, they get together, we're all skating and the competition for me is just like a big session, you know? It's good to get Roll Burn together because it brings, like I say, it brings outside sponsors. It brings people in from the streets to see what's going on. It's a good chance to travel and see everybody that I don't really get to see that often and whatever. So to me, it's, ne it's never really that serious. I mean, it's, it's always awesome to do well. It feels good to do well, but it's also good to see your friends do well. The standard's so high and you really have to just keep pushing it and pushing it if you want to, to win or to make top three. It forces us to bring our bodies and minds out of our element and just be like thrive off of adrenaline and go bigger than we've ever expected and I love to be around everybody and to go to the after parties and just be in our subculture of rollerbladers sharing the same passions. Uh, my feeling on competitions, especially lately, has just been great since um, we had the WRS um, starting this year, uh, which is a World Series. Tying up all the contests together was the idea behind WRS. Um, all these events were great. Um, now that we built WRS thing and we build bridges in between all those events, it just makes it that much better since um, people can just go and follow the tour um, with a final goal, which is the World Finals, get points towards the World Ranking, and all this now just does just, just a big thing. Instead of having a lot of little meaningful events, we just have but all tied up into one big series that means a lot for everybody. The WRS is a really good thing, I think. Like, it's just unifying pretty much what was already there. Having, like, the accumulation of points, I think it's great, and it'll be a great push for our sport. Just been reflecting, like, a positive outlook on rollerblading for everyone who's involved. They get the points, you know, the whole ranking system makes everyone get all angry and get competitive and want to get into it, you know? I mean, if that's the type of person that you are or whatever. Sometimes people ask me, what, what is your ranking? And I'm like, Sorry, man, we don't got no ranking, you know, but like this is changing now with the WRS. Makes it more professional, puts it a level more up. I think the standard of skating in the UK is pretty high at the moment. The level of skating is really high, and uh, every time I come back, it gets higher, and there's more, more and more kids coming up. I've never seen that many skaters in, in one skate park. You come here, and I just see all these rollerblades, and it's like, wow, you know, it's overwhelming, it's good. All the skate shops have rollerblading stuff in them, and you don't see that in America anymore. The skaters are kind of close too. That, that's cool. Like always having like a, a good scene with people that actually like each other instead of just a bunch of people that skate. Even though we're such a small little place, we still can cut it with the rest of the big names. I've got this paper thin soul that crinkles and folds when the wind blows. I take care of myself, mirror everything else so simple like. How it used to be, can it be? I'm skin and bones and everything I touch is in gold It turns the shit in my souls That I pick up when I walk down memory lane I find myself crossing out every name Cause another bites the dust Fighting the rush like life wasn't tough enough The things you do out of spite and love Write it in mud and clean it up for the soapbox I found ways in my waves goodbye to make the boat rock Fuck the hopes and hope nots Cause it turns in my stomach You said go hide and close my eyes and count to 100 Well, I stopped at 23 when I realized the joke Wait my tears with this blindfold and just kept my eyes closed The waves stop until my hands turn ice cold This nice guy fights first and likes to be alone And I break my verse but not like poems And I throw my two scented birds but not like stones I tuck my soul in my socks and hide my heart in my pockets Born alone, die alone is the only thing you promised This pattern till my pen runs out of black ink Spilling my soul until I run out of things to say Cause sometimes how I fail ain't the right thing to say The truth stings when it's swung like the sling blade The beautiful strokes, the ugly inks on this page It's like serving what's in your heart and soul in a cold dish It's cliche to say it's therapeutic but I know it is I'll show you what's cuffed in my hands and at the pit of my stomach To hope you understand where I'm coming from and it's what's keeping me going on beat and on my feet Knowing someone's out there listening I'm reaching out to no one I'm just trying to make a living Not for fame or the women Just throwing my two cents in the pot Everyone's pissing And it doesn't need to be like this I want you to know I hope you're there by my side When it's my time to go
the Chaz Invitational was in uh, Scotland for, I'm not sure, but for a few years. Um, after a few years, you know, it's good to just bring change and you know, just um, new uh, uh, excitement in the competition, especially for the riders, you know, and just, I'm sure it'll show today when those guys are going to be skating. Now we're in Liverpool instead of Glasgow. Liverpool's really central from the UK. So it's easier for people down in London and South Sea to come up, whereas it's also easy for people in Scotland to come down. Ramos was the only option. You know, there, there really isn't any other skate park out there that I think has the resources like Ramlots do. You know, they have a great staff. The help that they've given me has been unbelievable. Uh, the park that they have is obviously phenomenal. Rampwork Skate Park is the best place for the Chas and Invitational as far as I'm concerned. In the top five skate parks in the world that I like to skate, I mean all the transitions are perfect. And for rollerblading it's just like big transitions, good coping, rails, and everything's just perfect. The transitions are perfect, you know, they're smooth, they're not jumpy like some parks, it's built really well. There's a lot of things to grind, you know, not so much like do acrobatics. I like it, I think it's a great park for this contest. And the new location, I think it's good too. This skate park is just made for inline skating. The biggest stuff can go down here, and the rollerblader friendly atmosphere, and the people who run the place, and the amount of skaters in the Tri-City area who can be here to, to support this event is great. I like the old one, but I like this one better. <laughs> We're in the main ramp section of Rampwork Skate Park now and I just want to talk to you about a couple changes we made to the park. The first noticeable one is the King flat bank. We changed it completely. It used to be a straight box, straight rail. So we switched it up a little bit, added the kink, get more variety to the skating. We didn't change anything over in this section, but this is the rhythm section where most people will be just doing spins, high jumps. Uh, this section here is mainly the grind section for spinning the grinds, getting technical grinds, uh, switch ups, stuff like that. So this is probably going to kick off more of the qualifying stage of the event. And then I can see the main final part of the event being on this ramp here, which is called Triangle ramp, A box ramp. This will be the main event. I think this will be the final, big final. All the big name pros will be going big on this kind of thing to put out the big impressive tricks. My expectations for the contest is it's going to be crazy. The last two events that we, we did, they, it was unbelievable. Some of the stuff that they were doing, 
was just crazy. Competitive in nature to begin with, so it's more like a competition with myself. Like, I wanna skate good, I wanna be satisfied with the way I skate, regardless of if I win or not. I don't wanna disappoint Chess. He put so much effort in this competition, so I can, like, I can give it back. Whatever I say might go down in the men's pro contest is probably gonna be exceeded. <laughs> I don't know specific tricks that will be going down, but I, I can imagine that the new A-Box is going to get destroyed. I just want to see some stylish stuff. I mean, I hope it's not a spin to win contest, but probably will be. Uh, <laughs> sure, we'll see 720s to alley-oop top everything. I don't know where skating's going right now, but everybody's spinning like hurricanes. Might be a 900 alley-oop slow grind somewhere in there. I don't know who's going to be doing it or what exactly is going to be going down, but I know there is going to be some serious stuff going down. Frankie, he was actually, you know the, the triangle box? I think Frankie's going to try to do like a 540 troop spin fish brain down it. It's a really hard trick and I've seen him trying it and he was very close to doing it. I just hope I land some tricks and skate really smoothly because that's my thing. I want, I want to look good doing it. Specific tricks that I'll probably land just be some misty flips, you know. I love doing misty flips. <laughs> I don't know, I might do a couple soul grinds, you know, here and there. I was thinking about trying like maybe like a 540 like true spin fish on that thing. I don't know, but we'll just see how it goes. I don't want to say something and then not do it, you know, like I just did. Everyone's going to go crazy. Watch. Just watch. <laughs>
I think the female skate scene is getting bigger, there's more and more girls taking part in the sport but I also think more could be done to encourage more females to take part. I'm not happy with the fact that the WRS does not have a separate women's division, but I think that that's something that we can progress towards. As much as I enjoy competing with the men every now and then, and showing them what's up and really pushing myself, I think that the females should be a part of that because it's so great for the sport. I just think girls need pushing more than anything, and it's quite hard in a male-dominated sport to, to push yourselves, really, and it's hard to skate with other girl skaters. Jenna and I pushed ourselves harder than we've ever pushed ourselves in any event. I was excited for her, for me, for women skating, and the limits that I held for myself only, only a few hours before that competition started were broken halfway through. So it wasn't even about wanting the win, it was about the excitement. I wanted the win, but I was so thrilled to have the best women's contest there has ever been and to be a part of that.
Um, let's see. Who do I expect to see in the finals? It's a tough one. If you look at that list, it's stacked with names that are just full of talent. I mean, there's always like Brian Aragon. Brian Aragon. Brian Aragon. Brian Aragon. You got people like Aragon and Happy. Chris Happy. Chris Happy. Chris Happy, if he wants to. Frankie. Frankie Morales. Frankie Morales. Frankie Morales. I saw the way he skated in the course, and he's really good at big transitions. Maybe Montre Livingston. Man, Montre is an up-and-comer up that's just destroying everything in his path. You got a lot of um, a lot of kids from France, the France pros. They're just pulling out the biggest airs, 900s, like on launch boxes and doing crazy lines. Chaz is always doing ridiculous stuff. Shima. Maybe Al Hui. Everyone could uh, be in the finals. You know, it depends on the day. You know, anything goes with these events. You can never tell. Uh, the more people I think of, the more it, the list changes. So, I mean, it, it's going to be exciting no matter who's in the finals. My favorite to win. Chaz is definitely my favorite to win. Come on, Chaz. Ooh, probably Romain got in there, but he's in the amateur comp. But I expect him to get through the amateurs without a problem and straight into the pros. Probably Ergon, Brian Ergon, one of my favorite skaters. And plus, he's just mad consistent. I guess I have to go with Montre. He's been on fire right now. He's really come, coming out strong, and his skating's really good, and he's really confident. I want to say maybe I'm a favorite to win, but I'd say Frankie's, Frankie's really good at this park. And I don't know, it just all depends. Like, once the contest starts is when you get a feel for who's on that day. Do I have a favorite to win? Good question. Uh, yes, I have, but no comment on that.
try your sweet name and ask it to raise Such as your religion on your basket of rains The same kind of blood just passed through our veins The tears taste the same when it's flash in the face The world's getting too small to stand in one place It's like a room that you just chill in space Can't separate and still can't be away Gotta heal, get away from the fears of the age Try to shake the heat from the change To see what remains just a human being in these days Don't matter to me what name you gave me Remember what I mean? Know yourself to the floor You started wrong, you just took me so hard You brought the whole thing out of the world Can't nobody be free and that's for all three It's no me and no you, it's just us You know we're preaching what a man once called me I've been called words and tried to live well Hope you don't mind me with more stories I swear to God, y'all, and tell them with love. Give me my pools with Jen and Tommy. Any tricks, especially when the land, yeah, there is a trick, uh, especially when the land is just to see a uh, skating blow up and, you know, be recognized. <laughs> Doesn't move anymore. <laughs> Let me tape it up. Yep. Tape it together like Ninja Turtles. Chaz, look here. <laughs> Yo, welcome back to the chat. <laughs> Let me do the tape. Yo, welcome back to the WRS finals. Oh no, it's not finals. <laughs> We're not at the WRS finals yet. <laughs> Chaz Sands Invitational. <laughs> Take two. I just wanted you. Yeah, who, who even thinks about doing a Cab 720 into anything? <laughs>